Okay, good morning, everybody. I am tired and bored and been having all of these meetings um, about how I'm going to be teaching online, and that those are going great, actually. Um, but I don't have anything to do this week because it's spring break, so I've been doing a lot of planning for the classes I'm teaching, which I'm really excited about, but um, I'm not walking outside a ton. Um, as all the new directives change. So I've been walking my dog. That's really the only physical activity I'm getting. So I need to make some music. So I'm going to start making music right now. Um, I'm going to pull up Twitch first. Twitch.tv. Still learning all this stuff again. So forgive me for my ignorance. Um, but okay. Mute. Mute myself. And now I have the chat room. Cool, so I can talk with people. All right, I'm gonna start making music. Um, so I'm gonna start with just a stupid little synth here. I'm gonna to try to make some future bass type stuff um, today uh, for my library that I pitched to different production houses for commercials and stuff, which is a very tough business and I haven't been super successful at it, but I've had a few commercials. Um, but future bass is something that's been in for a long time, for a few years in media, and it's still in now. So I'm just gonna like try to make some more. So. Um, <laughs> Got this stupid synth patch here. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull up this device in Ableton uh, that is a scale maker. So I've basically um, configured it so that when I play one key, it's playing through some scales. So I'm going to try to start with, um, I'm just going to try to start with straight up just some sort of like lead. So 145, that's a good feature based tempo. There we go, that's cool. One, one, two, three. Nope. Quantize, fix that up. My plan's not so on time today. Jeez, I'm really behind. Yikes. Come on, Ryan. All right, cool. So that sounds good in there, um, at least in terms of the chord progression. So now let's work or focus on um, just the synth sound itself. Let's do that. So, hmm, should we do legato? Or should we make these all like uniform? Forget if there's a way to make them uniform in Ableton. Maybe we try a different chord down here at the end. That sounds kind of cool. So, all right, let's figure out the actual synthesis part of this now. So, let's try maybe octave down. Let's do a little high. All right, 
right, so let's see here. Um, so then the question becomes, do we make the drums ourselves? Or, you know, do we try to find, I don't think I have like future bassy drum kit that I've put together. So let's see if there's anything else that's good in there. You know, I don't always want to do the trap drums. I use those all the time. So let's actually make a new drum rack. And I'm going to go to splice. And I'm going to try to find some drum sounds. So I'm going to say drums. I'm going to say one shots. I'm going to say feature bass. And I want kick. So let's see here. You might not be able to hear this. All right, so that actually works for me. You should be able to hear that. Let's do uh, snares. Yeah. People love that. Let's just try something real quick. So let's see, you know how this is going to go. All right, so now we've got that. You know what we do next? We side chain that to the kick, get a little bit of nice movement out of that. Then I think we'll start to be cooking here. There we go. And that sounds like future bass to me. All right, so now let's figure out what key it's in. I'm gonna add my special flair, my favorite stuff, which is of course vocal chops, as you've seen in previous videos. So it's either an E minor. So let's try E minor then. Um, if you have any questions about any of like the plugins or um, any of the um, devices in Ableton, Max for Live devices, please feel free to ask me where I got them from. and. Uh, what they're used for. So let's see, I'm doing arcade. I'm going to lock it in E minor. And I'm going to, of course, pull up hooked and see if that is indeed the right key. Sure sounds like it. treat these vocal chops the same way as a synth, little side chain. So I don't know if this is like the intro right now or the drop. I feel like it's the drop, but I'm not really sure yet. But we'll give this a scene. We'll call this section A. Obviously we need a baseline to go along with this. So let's figure that part out. So let's do serum.
So this is where, like the part that happens where I'm like, I don't even know what to do next, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm not feeling that modulation at all. So that's like, we'll call those like drums one. And then we need like big drums, you know? So like we're gonna call these big drums and I've got like a stomp clap. So we'll call this section one. And so actually we'll duplicate this and we'll call this section B. And I'm gonna make the lead synth duplicated. So we'll call that lead saw, oops, lead saw sustained. I'm gonna call this lead saw uh, wobble. And we'll have that there, but not there. And then on the sustain, we'll take off this filter automation and leave that open. So it should have. <laughs> And then I think at this point, oops. So then we should bring in some hats here. So let's go samples, hi hat. Now let's do different hi hat. So we'll go hats. Where's my hats? Sure, we'll use this one. You should be able to hear this now. And then we should be able to get. All right, so let's go to eighths. Sixteenths, of course. Octa transpose. And then we want the old stomp and the old clap. So where's my stomp? So all downloads, one shot, stomp. Yeah, so that goes there. Huge clap, I know I got that. Oof, it's gonna be maybe too heavy, but let's try it out. And so we don't really need big drums, do we? We just can do it all in the same thing. So let's just give this a different color so that we know what the heck it is. So we'll go. And then we can also automate this. Rate LFO rate, so now we'll go here. Let's see.
So this is like. All right, let me go little chariot here. I'm trying to figure out like, you know, what the progression is of this stuff. So I'm just saucing a little bit first. So let's try this. Ah, so that's what we're going to do. So, give me the mic. So let's see here. Let's try some else here. I'm gonna bounce this in place, get the audio version of this. So I'm gonna use Bounce in Place. Great plugin for Max for Live. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there didn't mean to do that come back all right so I'll mute that yeah stuff in there. Let me get some higher stuff. Some harmonies. You know what? We're going to change that completely to a piano. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, we're going to just change the synth completely. Let's do a grand piano. Where's my grand piano? Alright, we're going to 
gonna try synth serum. Okay, here we go, finally. Alright, that'd be a cool place for that bass to come in. This would be a cool place for the bass to come in. Boo. Let's try a little exhaust sound here, kind of like a crash symbol. All right, I'm starting, I think I'm starting to get the picture here. This is part of the creative process is you kind of don't know what's happening. Yeah, we need to beef these up. All right, let's rock. I think these need to be compressed beforehand as well. Oh, I love dropped beats. Alright, we need a snare, roll, feature bass, Let's see, instruments, drums, future bass, future bass, future bass, future bass, future bass, where is future bass? There you are. I'm gonna say. Fills. There we go. I already have it. Do we like the offbeat? Oh, I need I need that snare on the offbeat. Come on, yo. See how the relationship of the bass and this lead is. They might be competing a little bit.
try make sure that that's starting on the one. Now we'll do a bum bum bum. See where we're at. something all right let's make sure that we copy that let's do splice i think i had a cool yeah, that's what i was looking for something chiller than that so we need a bass line though and then maybe a pluck bass Vox chops, but let's get a different kit here. So we'll color this one differently. Maybe not. Nah, let's just try a different kit. I love vocal chops. I love vocal chops. It's just too easy. All right, hit some bad notes. Uh, let's try eight. No, no, no. Come on. Like legato. Like a doom, 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 doom. So we need like a trap snare, I think. All right, I'll down those snares, snares, trap. That's the snare I want, but I only, 
Um, I guess I could handle this via simpler. I want to cut up this loop and just take the snare out. I could do it via audio, but let's try it with simpler. Where'd that go? Come on, Uzi. There it is. One shot. So. so with the panning of this, pan, let's make it mono. Honestly, right now I don't know how much what else to do with this. This is probably something that I would come back to because um, I feel like I've kind of like gotten as far as I can go 
with the idea. Um, I might try to clean it up a little bit mix wise. Uh, we're gonna go feature base, flume type beat. I'm trying to get better at feature base. I'm not like the best best at it, uh, but I really enjoy making it. I enjoy like the melodic parts of it, uh, but I'm mixing in headphones right now, which is obviously not a great idea. Um, and it's not going to cover like all your bases as far as, you know, recording goes. Um, so yeah, anyway. Yeah. And see that you just even hearing that right now, I can hear how ugly that is. So I'm not the best at sound design either. This is like maybe a time where I might replace that with a preset, but I just got to figure out how to mix it better. Ah, so stupid. The reason why that sounds so butt is because of that. that's done for now um i'm gonna shut the stream down i might be on later might be on tomorrow um either way um yeah this is just kind of me trying to make a feature-based track if you have any questions about it let me a comment on the stream i'll get back to you as soon as i can peace out